capybara is known to be somewhat aquatic, meaning it spends most of its time in the water. And it belongs in South America in regions such as Argentina, Venezuela, and Brazil. It lives in densely forested areas near bodies of water, such as lakes, rivers, swamps, ponds, and marshes, as well as flooded savanna and along rivers and tropical forests. Capybaras are herbivores, grazing mainly on grasses, aquatic plants, fruit, and tree bark. They can have a lifespan of 8 to 10 years, and their main predators are jaguar, puma, ocelots, eagle, and caimans. The capybara belongs to the order Rodentia. This order is classified by rodents characterized by two continuously growing incisors in the upper and lower jaws, which must be kept short by gnawing. It belongs to the family Cavidiae, which is a family of rodents native to South America, and includes the domestic guinea pig, the wild cavies, the capybara, and among other animals. They are found across the continent in open areas from moist savanna to thorn forest or scrub desert. The bull rodent family has fewer members than most of the rodent families with 18 species and 6 genera. Capybaras are excellent swimmers and can survive completely underwater for up to 5 minutes, an ability they will use to evade predators. If necessary, a capybara can sleep underwater, keeping its nose just above the waterline. Ladies and gentlemen, now we'll be taking a trip to southern Africa to explore the ecology, niche, and habitat of the zebra. Zebras are mostly located on the African plains. They feed almost entirely on grasses, but may occasionally eat shrubs, herbs, twigs, leaves, and bark. Their digestive systems allow them to subsist on diets of lower nutritional quality than that necessary for other herbivores. Lions are the major predators of zebras, while hyenas, wild dogs, leopards, and cheetahs are their minor predators. Zebras are of the order Parasiodactyla. The odd-toed ungulates are browsing and grazing ape mammals such as horses, tapirs, and rhinoceroses, whose hooves each feature an odd number of toes. They are from the family of Equidae, which is the horse family including donkeys and the horse zebra. The zebra is about 1.3 meters at the shoulder with a body ranging from 2 to 2.6 meters long with a 0.5 meter long tail. It can weigh up to 350 kg, males being slightly bigger than females. The ancestors of zebras were herbivorous browsers on relatively slow plants and already adapted for running. The complexity of their brains suggests that they were already well alert and intelligent animals. Later species reduced the number of toes and developed teeth more suited for grinding up grasses and other tough plant food. And now let's go to Mexico. Found solely on the shores of San Esteban Island in Mexico, these endangered species dwell in lava flows and rocky areas with nooks and crannies to run from potential threats. When disturbed, the chuckwalla will wedge itself into a tight rock crevice gulp air and inflate its body in order to entrench itself. Chuckwallas mostly feed on the cacti that thrive in the area, leaves, fruit and flowers of annuals, perennial plants and even weeds and insects are eaten if necessary. Chuckwallas use a combination of color and physical displays, namely push-ups, head hobbing and gaping of the mouth to communicate and defend their territory. The chuckwalla belongs to the order of Squamata. It is the largest recent order of reptiles, including lizards and snakes. Members of the order are distinguished by their skins, which bear spiny scales or shields. They belong to the family of Iguanidae. Iguanidae is a family of lizards composed of iguanas and related species. They share common ancestors to the iguana. Let's head on home to America and explore the habitat of the river otter. Although commonly called a river otter, the North American river otter is found in a wide variety of aquatic habitats, both freshwater and coastal marine, including lakes, rivers, inland wetlands, coastal shorelines, and marshes. It can tolerate great range of temperatures and elevations. Its diet consists of fish, crustaceans, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and insects. One of the most dangerous predators it encounters is the alligator and the American crocodile and the killer whale. The otter belongs to the order of carnivora, which includes meat eaters such as lions, jaguars, and alligators. It is within the family of mustelidae. The mustelidae 
commonly referred to as the weasel family, are a family of carnivorous mammals. <laughs> Fossil evidence suggests that the otters evolved webbed toes to swim underwater because it is semi-aquatic. The river otter streamlined shape allows it to glide through the water. The streamlined shape is likely evolved through a need to hunt fast-moving river fish. We are now looking at the great endangered species, the Woodis benches. They are endangered because, well, birds poop on them. <laughs> Teenagers put their gum underneath? Disgusting. Yeah, and people like write on them. It's not poo, 